Hi there, and welcome back. In today's video, I want to take another look at SketchUp's new diffusion tool, which you can see here, which of course allows you to use AI rendering to get visualizations of whatever you've created in SketchUp. It's a really cool tool, and you can actually have a lot of fun with it. And so today I'm going to actually explore a little bit of the fun parts that come along with this. And um, we will create something from very little. <laughs> In any case, uh, more on that in just a minute. Don't forget to check out my book, Architectural Design with SketchUp. It covers all of these topics and makes for a great desk reference. You can find it where books are sold. There's also a link to it on my site, sketchupfordesign.com, together with lots of additional tutorials and news. Alrighty, let's get going. So as you can see here, I've got a model loaded and I got diffusion going and this would be your your usual workflow of course you model something right here and then you pick whichever style you want right there and then uh, you give it a prompt and you say generate and then of course it'll generate all kinds of versions of what it is you ask it to do there's a few settings as I described in the other video um, there's one that lets you you know respect model geometry basically be closer to what you modeled or get get very far away from that and then the prompt influence basically what you've got up here how much that influences what comes out at the end right here so in any case those are the options so it's nice and simple uh, but it's powerful enough to do a few other things so we will have a little bit of fun with that alrighty so what I want to do is actually open up a new file and then put a simple cube in it and you can make that any size you want completely up to you now we're gonna also delete the scale figure because a it doesn't help us here uh, and and B um, you know as I discussed in the other video sometimes uh, that doesn't turn out so well so I'm gonna just leave it like this here anyways we'll have some fun with a cube and the idea for this actually came from uh another source <laughs> basically the the blender folks uh what they've been doing is uh in blender there's a there's a default cube that shows up of course as this the so you open the software and then they came up with this competition i think it's fairly informal but it's fun you can you can look it up on the internet um of creating renders based on the default cube and you can kind of see here what they've come up with now i want to do sketchup's version of that and actually i did this um just before uh the the end of the year over in the sketchup forums i posted the fun challenge of the cube where you just model a cube and then you give it a prompt and then you'll see where this leads. So before I show you what came out of that post, because <laughs> there were some really great submissions there, um, I'll, I'll show you the process first. So, okay, model a cube, nothing fancy there. Scale actually doesn't matter too much. All right, so then we're gonna go over to Diffusion and you know decide what you wanna do. I'm just gonna pick uh, exterior photorealistic because you know that's, where I want to head with this. Of course, if you want to be more artistic, you can pick something else. Now I'm going to describe this um, any which way you want. You can you can be very um, you know rough or very detailed, and you'll see in a second that that you can um, get different results based on your description. In any case, so if I just describe this as being a a statue in a rainforest, something like that. I'm going to leave all the other um, prompts and settings right here the same. And then I'm just going to click on generate. And then, same as always, I get a little prompt that something's happening. And then, in a second, um, I think always by default, three images are being downloaded based on my prompt. So, you get the point. The idea here is, of course, you know. The model itself is being generated by the prompt rather than by what you've modeled here. Because now, if I look at what I got here, there you go. 
some fun stuff. There's actually that, and then there's something like that. There's something like that. So in all cases, the, the cube and the orientation of the cube was perfectly um, uh, respected by the software. And the rest got added. So now, of course, you can push this in any which way you want. You know, you can do something up here. And we're going to refresh the image view. So we're starting there. And we're going to call this an invading spaceship because, you know, why not? And then generate. And then we'll see what comes from that. In any case, you can have a lot of fun with this here because uh, you can you know, use it to, to kind of practice a little bit prompt engineering. You can, you can, on a very simple model, see how good your prompt is and then what happens if you add more detail. Now, let's see how my invading spaceship ended up. There we go. There's that. Oh, okay. Interesting. A little minimalistic. <laughs> There you go. All right. So now is a good time to show you what came from my post. Uh, and you can find it, of course, on the SketchUp forums. And uh, there was my starter. There was, you know, my first version of that invading spaceship of sorts. Uh, display box over stadium. A very <laughs> odd looking stadium, mind you. But um, there's the rainforest one. This always seems to seems to work out nicely. Anyways, and then a lot of you actually submitted some really great, great uh, versions of that, you know, from Minecraft. This one, yeah, I thought it was interesting because the prompt is really just a description of, you know, the, the kind of the, the elements of that. And it works just nicely. There's some chocolate there, minimalistic cube, all of those kind of things. And then at some point <laughs> here... Uh, Mike decided to throw in some music lyrics, which was really fun because then we get some kind of a version of a, an illustration of that. Anyways, lots of really fun stuff. The Batmobile is somewhere. There we go. There's the Batmobile. Anyways, take a look at the, the post here and, um, you know, try it out for yourself. It's a really fun way to experiment with prompt engineering, uh, see how you have to write a prompt to get something from it and how you can change it um, based on what you what you write there. Now, obviously, you don't have to start with a cube, but if you do, <laughs> feel free to post it uh, in this uh, challenge right here on, on the SketchUp community. So it's forums.sketchup.com and, and add a few more to this thread so that we can kind of see where everybody is heading. <laughs> there was a fun one right there. All right, something fun to do today. Um, another look at the uh, power and the, the, the cool output of SketchUp Diffusion. All right, have fun with this. 